Developers of the SUM XRPL payment solution say it will serve as an on-ramp for non-crypto consumers. By the way, why has Ripple been on a spree of moving huge amounts of XRP tokens lately? Also, Flare Networks has proposed to showcase interoperability with NFT purchase through a live demo using Doge and XRP. Finally, following Attorney Deaton's point of view, will Ripple be paying for a settlement with the SEC? Stick with me guys to learn more. If this sounds like something of much interest to you, be sure to check out this new video starting now. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we happily send you a special welcome. We invite you to hit on the notification bell so you never miss another video. We are announcing that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP. To stand the chance of participating, all you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment with the hashtag XRP, and the winner will be announced on the 28th of February. Akin Serialdes, the owner and founder of 36 Away, a sandwich shop in the Netherlands that is the first to integrate SUM's XRPL QR payment solution dubbed Pay with SUM, has left positive reviews of the payment option. Per a press release from SUM yesterday, Serialdes hailed it as the future of payments describing it as secure and innovative, urging other stores to follow suit in integrating the point-of-sale payment option. I like the part where there is no banking involved to use this innovative and secure payment method, Serialdes said. Now we are set for the future of payments, and we hope we have enabled other shops to do the same. Recall that, as reported last Friday, some revealed the launch of the payment solution in partnership with FreePay. Senior XRPL Labs and some developer we'd say Wind explained that stores with POS terminals for card payments do not need an extra device. According to Wind, the shop owners can integrate the solution with the existing terminal, allowing customers and retailers to choose between card or XRPL payments. Notably, with the help of a decentralized exchange, the payment portal automatically converts payments in XRP, other XRPL-supported tokens, or digital coupons to a GitHub stablecoin of the retailer's choice, as highlighted in the previous report. Additionally, Wind explained that GitHub stablecoins are viewed as e-money and do not attract crypto taxes when converting to fiat. Wind first hinted at the development of the feature last month. As disclosed, it will likely roll out in the United Kingdom next, pending an announcement from FryPay. Additionally, Wind has hinted at integrating the payment option with a major e-commerce platform in the coming weeks. Brands will be able to push digital coupons that will be visible in the Sum wallet and will be validated using POS application and the ledger, FryPay CEO Farhan Dawood said in a Discord Ask Me Anything session per the press release. This strategy will allow us to bring non-cryptocurrency consumers into our world. On the other hand, Whale Alert has reported a significant XRP transaction made by Ripple in the late hours of yesterday. According to the crypto whale tracking service, Ripple Labs moved 100 million XRP worth $39.2 million to a wallet tagged as unknown. However, an analysis by the Crypto Basic revealed that Ripple owns the wallet where the funds were sent. The shifted XRP will likely be sent to exchanges to support XRP liquidity on crypto trading platforms. Furthermore, Ripple could send the funds to clients of its on-demand liquidity, ODL, solution. It is worth noting that the ODL solution utilizes XRP as a bridge currency for cross-border settlements. Ripple has been relatively active in moving vast chunks of XRP in recent times. According to data from Whale Alert, the leading blockchain company shuffled 500 to 10 million XRP in a series of transactions two days ago. While Whale Alert reported that unknown whales made the transactions, data from the XRP-focused analytics platform Bithop shows that the sender of both funds was Ripple. These transactions come three weeks after Ripple unlocked 1 billion XRP from escrow. The leading blockchain company locked back 600 million XRP in escrow, while the remaining 400 million XRP were set aside to cater to the company's day-to-day -day operations. Aside from Ripple shuffling XRP, Whale Alert shared other large XRP transactions in the past 24 hours. According to Whale Alert, an anonymous whale withdrew 50 million XRP from the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange Binance. The transaction, which took place 23 hours ago, was worth $19.7 million. In addition, a deep-pocketed cryptocurrency whale deposited 35 million XRP, $13.6 million, to the EU-based cryptocurrency exchange Bitstamp. 
Meanwhile, the value of XRP has slumped alongside other crypto assets in the market. According to data from CoinGecko, XRP is changing hands at 39 cents, down 1% in the past 24 hours. Furthermore, Flare Networks will demonstrate the Layer 1 Ethereum virtual machine-based blockchain's interoperable capabilities today by purchasing NFTs on Flare using Dogecoin and XRP. It bears mentioning that it would not be the first time for the Flare Networks team to demonstrate this, as it did so recently in a GMO internet-hosted event in Tokyo using XRP, as highlighted in a previous report. However, it is likely their first time doing it for the general public. Meanwhile, Phil Ion shared a teaser yesterday with a picture of what appears to be a person in a Flare branded t-shirt holding an XRP branded can drink. Recall that the network's slogan is connect everything, as developers built it to provide smart contract capabilities for blockchains without them, starting from the XRP ledger. Consequently, interoperability is at the core of its operations. As a result, it is built with two interoperability protocols, namely the State Connector and Flare Timed Series Oracle. For the official Flare website, the State Connector allows for secure and decentralized data collection from external blockchains and the internet. Alternatively, the FTSO acquires and delivers off-chain data recorded at consistent time intervals, like cryptocurrency prices, to Flare applications. Flare launched early this year following a token distribution event promised to XRP holders at the time of a December 2020 screenshot. The project, over the years, has received investments from Ripple and Digital Currency Group. While the execution of its airdrop to XRP holders has attracted criticism, holders of the native token Flare, FLR, remain bullish on its outlook as pundits have tapped interoperability as one of the biggest themes this year for crypto. Now, down to our update on the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Pro-XRP attorney John Deaton has asserted that cryptocurrency behemoth Ripple Labs could pay a $250 million fine to settle with the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. Attorney Deaton made this known in response to questions on whether there could be a partial settlement and partial appeal in the lawsuit between Ripple and the SEC. In a tweet yesterday, Deaton noted that Ripple could pay between $100 million and $250 million if the SEC agrees to settle. Per Deaton, the leading blockchain company will only settle with the SEC if the securities regulator publicly declares that all current and future XRP sales are not securities. Deaton asserted that the Securities and Exchange Commission would not agree to such a condition from Ripple during its war against the cryptocurrency industry. Interestingly, the founder of CryptoLaw noted that Judge Annalisa Torres could provide regulatory clarity for XRP secondary market transactions. Deaton's comment comes amid the unending inquiries from XRP community members eager to know whether Ripple and the SEC could settle before Judge Annalisa Torres gives her verdict on the case. Deaton has continued to address all inquiries about a possible settlement between Ripple and the SEC. In a January 1st tweet, Deaton said the SEC, under the leadership of Gary Gensler, is not thinking about settling with Ripple because of the company's demands. In sum, unfortunately, I think a settlement with Ripple is not in Gensler's mindset. I don't believe he's going to settle and publicly agree that ongoing and future XRP sales, including in the secondary market, are not securities. And Ripple won't settle unless the SEC agrees, said Deaton. A month later, attorney Deaton reiterated that the parties would not agree to settle until Judge Torres ruled on the case. Meanwhile, XRP community members eagerly anticipate the lawsuit's outcome between Ripple and the SEC. A win for Ripple could prompt US-based exchanges to relist XRP, thus causing the assets price to soar tremendously. However, an SEC win could spell doom for Ripple and the cryptocurrency asset. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.